I'll be sharing with you five new SaaS success stories to give you inspiration. And I think you'll enjoy each of these as I'll do a quick bio on each and show you what they're all about. This is going to hopefully broaden your perspectives on the different types of SaaS companies out there. And I really think you'll like number four. So make sure you stay until the end of the video. So let's take a look at our first SaaS product here. This one's called Park.io. It was founded by Mike Carson, who is a developer and has been profitable since its inception, acquiring over 100,000 domain names. And so what this service does is it lets user acquire expiring domain names so it's domain name back ordering made simple. So you can back order expiring country code top level domains for only $99. And this can be a great way to get expiring domains that are probably super expensive to get otherwise. In terms of pricing, you're just gonna charge a flat fee of $99 if you get the domain. We can see some popular ones here, such as mp3.io, usps.co, dailymail.co, 1k.ag. So these are really short, very commonly used domain names. And otherwise they're probably Probably really hard to get. For our second SaaS here, we're going to take a look at Transistor.fm. It was founded by Justin Jackson, a Canadian entrepreneur and author. It's a podcasting platform for podcasters to host, distribute, and then monetize their podcasts. They don't have the most up-to-date customers, but the last I was able to find reported, they had over 10,000 customers. So it lets you do lots of things if you're a podcaster here, as well as hosting multiple podcasts, building a website, feeling detailed analytics. Overall, an extremely popular platform in what's an extremely popular niche. For a long time, people thought podcasts were just going to be a small niche audio thing, but they've blown up so much as people have realized they can get really good content. I also remember hearing about Tim Ferriss, I think it was back in the early 2010s, where he was thinking about starting a podcast except the advice he had received at the time was that it was a saturated space but they were very wrong there podcasting continues to grow so i can definitely see why this is a popular platform and it's so much easier if you're in a niche or a category that's constantly growing it just gives you new customers all the time so being in the right market that's growing is going to make things so much easier than being in a declining market like let's say this was doing newspaper ads as an example. It's going to be so much harder to actually grow from there as it's a declining market overall. For our third SaaS product, let's take a look at Bear Metrics. It was founded by Josh Pigford and it provides a suite of overall services. And it's really meant for other SaaS businesses as it's subscription analytics to grow your business faster. And it's the easiest way to get the insights you need. I've used it before, it's very clean, it's very effective. It integrates with just a ton of different platforms here such as Stripe, Braintree, Shopify Partners, Chargebee, Google Play, and the App Store. And it's just gonna aggregate all your data here so you can see an overview of how your business is doing. It also has some really nice features such as predictions on where you're going to go based on your previous history and growth rates. They have over 900 companies using this product here, so definitely very popular. We can see some big names such as ConvertKit, NPM, Todoist, and Hubstaff. I think Bear Metrics also did an excellent job with their pricing, as their pricing is going to scale based on your revenue, which makes sense here as they're ingesting more data at that point. And as you can see, I start dragging this slider up. It's just going to go up in price. And they've really separated things too from their metrics to the recover plan to cancellation insights. And if you're a SaaS, especially in the B2B space, which is a much easier space to be in, you want to make sure you're charging the right price for the right customers. As this is going to make your life so much easier. As with these bigger customers as well, they're going to require more service. They're going to require more storage, more processing. But if they're bigger, they're going to have the ability to pay more. This was something that I really struggled with for a long time. I had a flat rate pricing plan and I was missing out on so much extra revenue. Next, let's take a look at Sentry. It was founded by David Kramer. And it's a platform for software devs to track and resolve errors in their applications. It was founded in 2021 and is used by tons of companies here. I believe it has over 60,000 customers. And we've seen some big companies here, such as GitHub, Disney, Atlassian, Flexport, Tonal. And error monitoring and resolution is one of those things that's a crucial thing for any software app. So this is probably one of those products that once when you install Install it, you're probably not going to get rid of it because it's just going to save you money overall as if you can fix and address errors quickly, it's going to make your customers so much happier. So just like Bear Metrics before it, I think they did a great job with their pricing as they're going to price depending on the number of errors you're looking for. So they have a free plan here, so it's going to give you limited performance, but it's going to be for maybe solo devs or people who want to experiment with it. 
But as you start to get into the business pricing here, it's going to be dependent on the number of errors. So if you have a really large application or product, you're going to charge an appropriate price for that. Lastly, let's take a look at Laravel Spark. It was a SaaS starter kit founded by Taylor Otwell, who was the creator of the Laravel PHP framework. and basically makes it way easier for developers to go and launch a SaaS product. So it's the perfect starting point for your next big idea. And it's the complete reoccurring billing solution for Laravel. And it's a starter kit for your next great SaaS application. So this one's going to charge based on a flat fee here. We can see $99 per product or $199 for limited products. And it's going to be one of those products where it's going to really focus on the time savings. As if you're using Laravel and you're trying to build a SaaS from scratch, it's going to take you quite a bit of time. So it's going to help you jumpstart the process. And I think it's easily justifiable too, because if you look at your hourly wage or what could be your hourly wage, this will most likely save you money here in the form of your time. If you've gotten this far in the video, I'm sure you want to build your own SaaS product. There's a link in the description below where you can get free SaaS ideas. All you need to do is enter in your email. Email. I also have a course on how to build your very own micro SaaS, even if you don't have any product ideas or any SaaS experience. There's a link for this in the description below, so make sure you check it out. But this concludes the video here. If you enjoy this type of content or you enjoyed the video, smash that like and subscribe button below. I'm coming out with new SaaS videos all the time. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.